In this short example, we'll look at uh, reading the input on port zero, pin number one. And we'll have a yellow wire connected to that port on the Beagle Bone. We'll come over here, and um, this is the GPIO port zero that we're referring to. You can see the yellow wire is connected to what we're calling pin one, because it goes ground, 3.3, pin zero, pin one. And that's gonna read row uh, six here on our on our breadboard. The way this works is the blue uh, the blue line is connected to power. <clears throat> so we have 3.3 volts coming in um, on the first row, and it can go um, can go through the LED when this button is pressed, because these uh, that will bridge this connection from row four to row six and then the power can pass through the resistor to the ground and back. And this, the yellow pin here is in the pulled down condition through this resistor. It's pulled down until we press it and then it has a 3.3. So when we press a button, then our light should come on because we allow 3.3 volts to go through our LED, grounding the negative leg. And we should see, when we run, run the code, actually, I guess we're already ready to run it. So, port zero, pin one, condition is zero. I'm gonna press the button again. When I press the button, we get ones. When I release the button, we get zeros. That's all.